So uh, this is weird. In all the years that I've had this car, and all the years that I've had this shop, I don't think I've had this car inside these doors before. I mean, it's been on the property, on the trailer, but I don't ever remember putting it in the shop ever. I think this is the first. I mean, I've never really done any maintenance to it. I think I changed the oil once. And I put an ignition module on it, or ignition coil on it, sorry. Other than that, it's just been so loyal. I just kind of just let it be. I think I might actually do maintenance. I must be coming down with something. Quick rundown of what needs to be done. Uh, bumper fell off last year when we were putting away for storage. Dave was ripping it around and must have caught a rut or a divot or something and it just yanked that thing right off. And uh, she's not light. She probably weighs about 110 pounds. It's just all solid steel. Ugh. Not looking forward to that. Got a power steering leak. Leaks actually really bad before. I kind of just let it be. It wasn't that bad. Sat for a few weeks and top it up like half a liter. But now it's like you fill it up and within three hours it's gone. Just drips right out. One of the, I don't know if it's fitting loose or whatever, but we're going to check that out. Uh, fix up some wiring on the uh, ignition coil. And just kind of go through it front to back just to make sure there's nothing else like falling off of it because in all honesty I've really never fixed anything on this car. I checked it, never really fixed it. Like it doesn't really need brakes. Got another car for that. It goes forward and it's loud and that's pretty much all it really needs to be. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of anything else. I think that's it. Maybe touch up some things here and there and that'd be about it. Let's give her a go. Really common issue that we have been having is the wiring on this is kind of janky. Um, and you really can't see it. All right. Yeah, you don't see it. Anyways, right where my finger is, but it's not zooming in. That's the ignition coil, and that's the plug for it. Sometimes you get bounced around, bouncing around because the connector isn't the right connector for the job. It's just a connector that worked. It falls out. So my job right now is to make that not fall out because that's really annoying.
Tri Special. All it's got to do is hold that connector in, because like I said, this connector, my free connector, see how it kind of has to cut it away just to make it snap. But it's on there. It ain't falling out anymore. That's all that we need to make it. it ain't pretty. But they say use what you got. And I always got zip ties. Well, I was down. Uh, here's the power steering leak. It's coming out of. Oh god. Let's get a different angle here. I guess over time it's been bouncing, hitting, it's been hitting the fan, and uh, it, it rubbed a hole in the fan. Uh, it's a high pressure line. I might just patch it. Don't ask me how. I'm not going to be proud of it. You know, I'll be honest. I don't ever think I even pop. I'll just set that there. Pop the reservoir cap off. Check the brake fluid. Yep. It's got fluid. What about oil? Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's hiding behind the header. Stay. Yep. It's got oil. I mean, it's not super clean, but she ain't black. Super black. It's fine. I'm not going to do this one handed. Oh. Okay. There we go. Pretend like we checked it. It's fine. The one thing I did notice is that the fan rubs also there because it's not really attached there. But it hasn't really caused me any issues yet, so I don't know if I should even bother. It's fine. It's a train car. It starts, it moves, it does sick burnouts, and that's all you really that's all you really need. I mean, just ignore that. I mean, just ignore all that. That's all. That's it. I guess I should probably throw that boot back on. <sighs> Ready to go. Well, <clears throat> it's Friday. It's the, next, it's the next day. Today was tire day. Um... I didn't take any video of me swapping the tires because that's kind of boring. It's got new meat on. They're a lot shorter. They're a lot narrower. But they were free. And I like that price. So it spun a lot coming out of the corners already. Uh, it's going to spin a heck of a lot now. Should be Should be a good show. Um, yeah, but other than that, lead car's ready to go. New tires, tire steering leak fixed. Got the electrical thing that kind of gets it in the butter every once in a while. Got that fixed. Checked all the fluids. All those fluids look good. Oh, I got to strap the battery down. That's it. And it's good. And then we just got the cruise, the, my end car. It's ready to go. And then the neon, we're going to do that tomorrow morning. Get it loaded on the trailer. Um, then we gotta torch the old control arm out because the bolt is seized in. And torch that out, put the new control arm in, slap tires on it, throw a seat in, and it's ready to rock. And then uh, bolt set up and go put on a show. Hopefully, maybe. Should be fine.